In this video, we'll balance the equation for barium nitrate plus aluminum sulfate. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one barium, and then NO3, that's the nitrate. It stays together in this reaction. So we have it here, and then again on this side. So I'm going to count that NO3 as just one item, since it's on both sides. I have one NO3 times two, gives me two of them, two aluminums. Sulfate, same thing. I have an SO4 here, SO4 here. So I'm just going to say I have one item and I have one times three. So I have three sulfates on this side of the equation. On the product side, one barium, three times one, three nitrates, one aluminum, one sulfate. Why don't we fix the sulfates first? We could just put a three in front of the barium sulfate. So one times three, that gives us three of the sulfates. One times the three, we now have three bariums. Might as well balance the bariums. I'll put a coefficient of three in front of the barium nitrate, one times three. That balances the bariums. And then I have one times the two. So I have two nitrates times three. That'll give me six. Okay, well, I can put a two in front of the aluminum nitrate, and that would balance the nitrates because I have three nitrates here times two. That gives me six, so those are balanced. And then one aluminum times two, that works. And those are balanced. And we're done, this equation is balanced. So you can see by counting these polyatomic ions is one thing if they appear on both sides, it makes the balancing a lot easier and you're less likely to make mistakes. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BANO32 plus Al2SO43. Thanks for watching.